We've been talking a lot about Kate, what she's been wearing, of course her fashion choices, and when she came off the plane on Monday in her beautiful Catherine Wall coat, of course she had that beautiful brooch. Now that brooch was obviously gifted to the Queen way back in 1953 and it's on loan to Kate while she's here. Now a special portrait is being unveiled by Prince William tonight at the dinner at Government House and that has the Queen wearing this brooch. Now Ruth Wynne Williams earlier in the week talked to the artist of the portrait. Take a look. London-based Nick Cuthill is well-travelled, but there's one trip to Buckingham Palace he'll never forget. I arrived early to get myself set up, so laid out brushes, palette, got my canvas ready, um, tried not to break the priceless Ming bars next to me. Ready for some time alone, getting to know the Queen. Her Majesty is a busy woman, and so, you know, to get an hour with her was great. Um, I found it to be very funny, astute, um, extremely elegant, which made my job really easy and enjoyable. It was a really nice hour. But to get that private audience, the artist's journey started here, at New Zealand's National Portrait Gallery. We are school children. Who would you expect to find in the gallery? And they often say, the Queen? A group of young anonymous donors agreed. To fill the gap and to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, they commissioned the former Wellingtonian, whose work already hangs on gallery walls. He had just painted Alan Bollard as the retiring governor of the Reserve Bank, uh, which I think helped to make the case. It's a huge deal. It's literally a dream come true for me. But the 34-year-old artist probably never dreamt he'd dress the Queen. He put her in blue because that's his favourite colour, or that his oil painting would feature the silver fern brooch the Duchess of Cambridge was wearing the day she arrived. Looks beautiful, it was incredibly difficult to paint. Nick Cuthill's portrait of Queen Elizabeth will be unveiled this evening by Prince William and Catherine before a state dinner at Government House. After that, there's little doubt this likeness of the monarch oh, it's wonderful. will be right at home. The gallery itself is on Queen's Wharf.